Hi friends, uh, so today I'm going to show you uh, my new sewing machine. So uh, you can see on left hand side my single time 3321. So uh, it is almost seven years old and uh, I wanted to upgrade the machine. Um, um, it works fine but there were some times when I was a little frustrated with that machine and uh, being seven years I think it has has though I have not used it much it had its own problems uh, which now I find it uh, to be very common with Singer machines but uh, it works fine but yeah sometimes it is frustrating so I wanted to upgrade or I wanted to have a backup machine because sometimes I sew clothes, I clothes baby shoes, uh, so uh, I wanted uh, something little more, uh, uh, you know, reliable. Uh, and I also was very curious about the computerized machine, so uh, that is why I bought this machine. So I just got it now from Amazon. Uh, I'll probably this is going to be my uh, unboxing video for you. Um, I know you will have a lot of doubts about why this machine uh, and everything. Uh, I know it's not a very common machine. It's a very, it's, it's a very relatively new machine in India. Uh, I'm also a little skeptical because it's a computerized machine. The single talent two two uh, sorry, the single talent three three two one is is actually a mechanical machine which works on electricity. But this is a computerized machine, which means it has a computer inside it. So if uh, I face problems with the motherboard and all, I may, you know, have to, uh, you know, throw this machine away. That is my greatest concern. But still, I thought I'll do that. Uh, let me unbox it and try to show you just quick overview. Okay. Be with me. I had to get my daughter to help me with the unboxing so you can see it comes in a very uh, secure uh, package so I had little trouble mm -hmm. sort of testing before they send it out so that is the thing that they have shown this is little terra okay yeah so no, I have not switched it on um, probably I will take some time to switch it on I need to take the sewing manual okay so so this is unboxing I have no idea about it so since it is a computerized machine I'm not going to touch it right now I'll just say the features for you so this is the speed this was something which i liked like it is speed which it can sew i think the speed of this one is around 850 stitches per minute so uh, that is the highest speed it can have so we can slide it this is one thing and this is when you stop your stitch uh, stitching uh, imagine you want to change suppose you are doing uh, stitching in a square mm -hmm. you know that when you um, you want to take a 90 degree angle uh, you 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 uh, you know lift up your presser foot and sometimes you use your hand wheel to put, put your needle down so this is something which where you can tell the machine that whenever it stops i want the needle down or the needle up position so uh, so this feature is more helpful when you are doing uh, some straight lines and some 90 degree angles that is helpful that's what i'm thinking this is the reverse button and this is the start stop and uh, I can't remember this sorry I have to look at it okay so some quick features uh, this has 199 st uh, stitches um, I think I can show it somewhere here yeah so these are like the 199 this is the 97 of the 197 so this is a uh, 101 to 97 okay and this is the 100 stitches so you can see here 0 to 900 uh, I don't know it is 99 here stitches uh, like three stitches plus plain stitches uh, so uh, this is the options I hope you can see okay so once I push it down I pull it down these are the lettering that I can do on this machine okay 
um, so these are the controls um, I think this is a stretch stitch for knits and everything uh, and this has some seven or eight ways to do buttonhole um, and there is some memory function and this is the tension dial okay um, yeah so this is a bobbin winder similar like a singer talent 3321 and it has it so there are already the it is threaded one good thing I can use right away I can test this machine right away and the bobbin is also there uh, then I need to figure out okay. so and uh, because it has a start stop button I don't need to use the um, foot pedal to sew that is one good thing about this machine mm -hmm. I know especially with people with kids at home I have a three-year-old daughter who loves to sneak under the table and press this press of foot when the machine is on or whenever she likes it so uh, sometimes I, I hate that uh, like she'll just come and press the pedal so I think that is a good feature and this is a power table mm. I, I made to see where okay so I believe this is a free arm so I'm assuming it to have some accessory compartment this is a free arm so this is very thin mm, yeah. and now the most interesting question what is the price I paid around 22,690 rupees uh, in Amazon I had some 1500 um, you know discount because of my husband's credit card uh, so he's the one who has given me the money to um, you know buy this machine so uh, so it costed me around 21k uh, rupees to buy this I ordered it on 3rd November and today is 8th November I'm just uh, you know filming this video just and when I received it I just received it like 15-20 minutes back I brought it home and sanitized it so today is 8th November so I got in 5 days and if I want I could um, okay so when you are talking about a new machine the other question is about service so uh, when I I had talked with the Bernard team in Bombay uh, though I ordered on Amazon I had ordered, uh, talked with them so they had uh, when I told them that I have ordered this machine online through Amazon they right away sent me the um, the service person's name so I called him up today morning he said he could come right away okay now the charge of servicing is a little high for Bernina uh, the service person say that um, he, he probably has to travel around 25 kilometers to come to this place so he will charge around 1250 for uh, coming doing the demo for me so I have told him that because I am quite familiar with the machine this is not my first machine I should be able to figure it out and I am a computer engineer so I believe I can figure it out by myself so I will not be uh, you know uh, calling him right away if there is anything I'll call him okay so yes uh, that's about something servicing of a burning up not burning up servicing a burnet machine is is expensive that is something that you need to figure it out but what I am assuming is that if this machine will work reliably enough that I won't need to spend that kind of uh, money servicing servicing it frequently that is my thought process I'm just keeping my fingers crossed here okay yeah um yeah that's that's all um that's all i can say i have never used a burn machine i have not seen this machine i just read reviews i talked with uh, you know different customer care and everything and this is like a um, uh, you know purchasing without seeing the machine this is the first time i'm seeing this machine because of the corona i didn't want to go and another thing is that bernina doesn't have any customer outlets that you can go and see it's in, in bangalore i live in bangalore um so yeah i was just going by the reviews and and going by the reputation the brand bernina and bernard has okay uh, so very good clarification this is bernard which is a low cost model of bernina so this is not bernina machine bernina machines are supposed to be excellent and i did had a thought process of buying the bernard b38 because of the more features and it's supposed to be a more better machine and it's supposed to it has excellent reviews but that would cost around 40k and i did not want to invest in that uh, i did not had that you know um, i didn't want to uh, take that much risk that is why i went for uh, the cheaper model what do i plan to do with this i still think this machine has a good amount of um, life in it 
uh, and selling it may not get me anything uh, so I will keep it as a backup machine okay so that is my plan or to do some cook, cook sewing where I have to do something I will use it that is a plan but I hope this will be my major machine but I will still be posting tutorials on this I will be helping out I understood that a lot of people need help with this machine so I'll be doing that um, and if you want these videos to be in uh, in Malayalam that is my mother tongue do let me know uh, um, okay I can do that also okay so I, I, I'll be coming back with more tutorials with this okay and yeah you will be seeing a little more of this machine also yeah so these are so these are the other features 197 stitch pattern one step button hole alphabet memory function pattern mirror maximum stitch width of 7 mm i think it's a big difference uh, my singer talents has only 5 mm of width or probably 6 mm bar to needle distance of 163 mm needle threader uh, start stop button speed slider drop feed function drop fit function is for embroidery and quilting needle up and down lcd display imprinted ruler or accessory box thread knife led light tension adaptation including seven presser foot so these are the things that is there i need to figure out where all those is there so i thought i just add it here yeah so the accessory box had the access box here and these many things uh, this is the button hole uh, so you need to move it here so how it is like you need to move it here uh, keep the button somewhere here so that it knows the length how much is there and here this is something else this is a, and i think this is a button hole you have to do something like this to make the button hole i need to figure it out that is a big difference um, okay so this is the overcasting foot uh, so if you don't have a serger and you want six sags on the sides you can use this this is a zipper foot i think this is the same like what we have in bunny what we have in the singer so this is a bobbin case it looks quite flimsy yeah i think that's what people don't like this is the thread stopper so I'll keep it here for the time being the extra spool okay so this one I think these are all okay so a little bit of oil okay so this is the same reaper as well as the brush I think it is the open embroidery foot or something like that Just uh, I, forgot, okay, I f forgot what is this foot. Okay, so this is the screwdriver which comes with the single. This is a button, invisible button foot, I believe. This is our Pico one. Okay, so just just three more, three more uh, bobbins. I need to figure it out. And one set of organ needles. It's the quilting guide. Those are the accessories.